Nash Valulu there with the title track, no, the theme track, sorry, from the new John Pretty and Pink Hughes movie, Some Kind of Wonderful. And on their first ever British television, television appearance, Flesh Valulu, welcome Nick and Rocco. Oh, so how, right. did you get, how did you get this oh, thing you know, sorted out with John Hughes then? He just contacted us, you know, he's a big fan for years. You know. He bought the records, yeah. you know, from import in America and contacted us and said, make a record for my next film. Without reading the script, we just went ahead and bashed it out. <laughs> and I hear you're going to star in his next movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to be um, multimedia stars. It looks yeah. like yeah. new monkeys or something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> now, like, earlier on, we were showing videos by Neat's Rev and Front 242, and I was saying like mm. they've not actually ever sort of kicked it here in the UK. It's yeah. all been happening abroad. Like, is that the same for you? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Because as far as the British press is concerned, they can love you one minute and, and knock can, you down the next. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, no, no, because no, every, everyone needs press, every, yeah. every, in, every band needs press, but we've been ignored by them in this country, whereas America is just totally, yeah, know, yeah, we, we want to know, you know. Well, worldwide, like, apart from where we come from, it's quite strange, really, you know, it's like... Why do you think, I mean, you were obviously popular, you know, when you first came out, but, like, do you think it's just because it's so far on now? Yeah, it's just the whole pigeonhole thing that they insist on in this country, you know. It's Music like, programmers. Unfortunately you know, for us, you know. And people who could be turning on to people that are 50 year old that you know govern the BBC. <laughs> you now they're <laughs> you know they're, they're they're basically telling you know the, the whole nation what to listen to. Yeah, yeah. you know it's, it's kind of kind of stinks in a way, really. Mm. But what do you think of like the music scene here? Like you into Acid House and I mean things like Front 242. Yeah, yeah. Well, this, the whole scene, yeah. I mean, the whole thing is just a, a scene, isn't it? It's just another... That's true, it is Another, another scene, 15 yes. minutes, isn't it? It's just another 15 yeah. minutes, you know? yeah. I'm going to go and change in a minute and get my, uh, you know, Bermuda shorts and my bandana. <laughs> <laughs> That's it! <laughs> but, yeah. like, the, 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 the single you brought out, if, it, if you hadn't been contacted by John Hughes, would we, would, we, would we have had a single from you, you know, it's been a year now, I mean... No. Mm. Well, we, we were dealless. We didn't, we didn't even have a record deal. Dealless. Like dealless. <laughs> yeah, that's a good word, isn't it? Um, uh, yeah, dealless, cos... We, uh, we've on the doll, you know, without, <laughs> without a record contract with a acoustic guitar. And John Hughes, pff, how it came about was just a total fluke. He put up the money to make, make that single from there. Beggars Banquet signed us. Mm. Beggars Bankrupt Records. At last, right recognition, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. been recognised, yeah. So it's only out on video, isn't it? Yeah, well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's only a short sniff. So you've got, well. you got an album coming out in 89. <laughs> have you got an album in, in 89? You, do you think right. you've still got something alternative to say? Um... Yeah, save the winos. Nuke the whales. Yeah, save right. the whales. Stop the bastard whales. Okay, they yeah, were powerful, they? provocative stuff there from, from Flesh for Lulu. That's practically all we've got time for this week on Lonely Charts Club. Save for our last video, which comes from Barry Adamson, whom some of you will remember from the days when he played bass for Magazine and went on to co-found the Bad Seas with Nick Cave. Yes, it's him. Remember from the days when he played bass for Magazine and went on to co-found the Bad Seas with Nick Cave. Yes, it's him. He got his face punched in, didn't he? That's right, right, yeah. Well, he's better yeah. now. He's now actually oh, right. turned yeah. up with a cover taken from an Elmer Bernstein soundtrack to the film The Man with the Golden Arm, which came out in the mid-50s, starring Frank Sinatra yeah. and Kim Novak. He's doing well on yeah. Rock Army. <laughs> I can nick your job here, can I? Barry has also... No chance of that, pal. Not with your profile. Barry has also got a soundtrack album coming out early 89 called Moss Side Story. He's looking for a film to set it to. Till such a happy union, here is the man with the golden arm. Good night.